for today's uh, video I just wanted to do um, I don't know if it's gonna be quick but a video about how I do my makeup if I just want to look cute to go out with friends or something very fresh and uh, a bit summer-ish and yeah I'm not gonna speak more than uh, I'm sorry for my English. I'm really not skilled for that. Anyway, so I'm just gonna share with you how I would do my makeup. Kind of, not every day, but because it's not something I would do going to school or something. But just if I want to go out uh, downtown with some friends or stuff. Yeah. So basically, it's it's a makeup done with my favorite products, I guess. So. A big part of them are actually Korean products, so I don't know where I'm gonna put in the title of the video, but it's, it's gonna basically be a kind of uh, almost whole face with Korean products. But yeah, I just got out of the shower. Um, I tested, I've tested, uh, I've tested something new for my hair today. Uh, I might do a video about this maybe later. So if you guys are interested about um, my hair routine or what I use yeah comment down below I might think about it uh, I guess we should just stop talking and let's get to it I don't know if you can see from there but I actually have some blemishes acne scars and stuff it's gonna be um, kind of natural look but still need some coverage to cover all this shit I have already kind of prepped my skin so I'm just gonna show you what products I've used I've actually used before um, well um, I start after taking my shower I actually start by spraying my face with some rose water so it's just natural rose water that you can that you can get in drugstores or um, pharmacy I don't know what they call it in English but yeah oh no I forgot something I'm sorry before spraying my face um, I start with this which is one one step moisture up pad from Costa X it's a Korean brand and I've got this product on sitekorean.com I'm almost running out of this product actually but I have a stock I think of it it's such a life savior this one and the other version that they have the pimple pad one you cannot imagine how it saved my skin how it helped my skin with acne scarring so I would actually just use it as a as a cleanser, cleanser, not a cleanser, a toner. So after um, after having a shower or clean my face, I would take a pad from there from the box. These are like soaked pads. I would take it and just like rub off my face with it. It, it has two sides, a uh, kind of rougher side and the other one is um, smoother so I just like play with it and with the sometimes, well one pad is way 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 enough for my whole face I would just use the the resting products for my hands, neck and shoulders so I start with the pimple pad then I spray my face and then this is my baby. It's the Dear Claire's Freshly Juiced Vit Vitamin Drop Pure Vitamin C with Centella Asiatica Extract Juicy Vitamin. So I would just use it after that, put some drops all over my face and rub it in till my, my face uh, fully absorb it. I've already um, emptied one bottle, it's actually my second one. and. Uh, I don't I don't know what to say it's it's just awesome and actually I ran out of moisturizer so for this makeup look I will use the max Pro cream as a moisturizer but I but before I used to 
have the Benson moisturizing cream so I would put the link below but it's a really good product uh, I think I'm gonna start now So for primer, uh, I will use um, a Korean product again, an old pore glim uh, primer from Touch and Soul. I actually uh, knew about this product by watching Kenny GD. I think it's pronounced this way. Uh, it's uh, one of my favorite YouTubers on YouTube, I suppose. <laughs> And yeah, it was like her kind of holy grail um, Korean primer, so I wanted to try it. It's kind of expensive for a primer, but it does the job. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put that on my problem area. It would be around here. And t-zone and a little bit around my chin now we get to the fun part the fun part for me is foundation since I have so much well not so much I guess some people have more it's like have more intense and problematic uh, acne scarring but uh, I actually never had any skin problems till last year I was blessed with good skin and then I got to college and with the stress and the um, the finals exams and stuff I kind of developed a kind of stress acne this cushion is actually from the same brand um, as the moisture pads it's Korean products, uh, per, a Korean brand, Cosmer X, and it's the Clear Fit Blemish Cushion. Um, and I think I got it in the color 23. Korean brands, most of the times, they don't make a lot of range colors, unfortunately. And this is actually the second one, and I think for this product, they have only three shades. Uh, I think it was 21, 23, and a deeper one, tw 27, yeah, something like that, is claiming to be, uh, you know, a 50% skincare, 50% uh, makeup. It's specially designed for people that have acne prone skin. So I don't know if you're actually familiar with the cushion format, but it looks like this open it and you have a mirror and a kind of puff but it's not the the real puff I've lost the one that was here it's another one and then you open up the actual product is in here in this kind of um, sponge soaked in foundation so yeah see but uh, I didn't even need any concealer it's so high coverage that it concealed absolutely everything let me just zoom in so you can see actually it's pretty good huh mm. I'm gonna use some blush and liquid highlighter highlighter okay sorry um, I love 
is how to it's not a girlfriend brand it's um shimmer and skin perfector opal from becca got that in sephora i'm just gonna use my hands because i'm okay here yeah, it's so natural looking gives you that glow healthy glow Okay, so I'm um, gonna use this cream blush, orange cream blush. I'm hating it. It's from the fresh brand Bourgeois. I'll put everything down below. And I'm just gonna go right here. Put my eye. Yeah, whatever. You just do it. Yeah, whatever. Tap, tap with my hand. thing on the other side and then what I still have on my hands I would just dab slowly on my nose and of course this is too much I take the puff I was using for my foundation and just blend it blend it out Normally, I would use a blush that is a bit more powerful than that, but for today, we're gonna... it looks cute. Let's get to the powder NS3 No Sebum, no -sebum Mineral Powder. I only use it, I spot places where I tend to crease. So my eyelids and their eyes around my nose here and forehead. I'm sorry, I'm just tired. Had a long week. So powder done. I'm gonna get to shading. If we can call that shade. I'm just gonna bronze a little bit. I go broke, but girl, I'm okay with it. Good at ya, my no one is my joke. My joke, huh? Money and the fame. I used uh, the Too Faced. Uh, I don't know the name in English. Chocolate. Sun chocolate. A chocolate soleil. Well, out. Uh, medium deep matte bronze. Just a basic sheer bronzer. I don't like using very intense bronzer. Um, just to give a little bit of volume. Let's get to brows. For brows, I'm actually mixing two colors. One lighter that I would use here and one uh, well, more colored here. As you can see, I have quite dark eyebrows. So to um, tone it down a little bit, I like to use colors that are a tiny bit lighter than my natural color. This one is from is a, a Korean brand, Etude House. It's color my brows in I don't know what color it is. I am sorry, but I will try to find out. And the other one is the Eyebrow Fibers Colored Mascara from Kiko Milano. It's an Italian um brand I got it when I was in Rome this one is more of a chocolate brown 
Now I'm gonna get to eyes. For my eyes, uh, I like to be very uh, subtle. I would just try to line my upper lid with a brown eyeliner, but in it with a very thin line. I would do a very thin line. Just put some product around the outer corner and then smooch the whole thing. Yeah. Joy Okay, let's put a light color on my waterline. I don't know if you see the difference, it's, it just opens your eyes. Ooh. Okay. Mascara, I'm gonna use a mascara I got from Hamish, which it doesn't smudge, it doesn't budge, it doesn't move. But the only problem I have with this mascara is that it's very uh, annoying to take out to wash off because it, it has some kind of fibers in it. So to take it out, you gotta just not scrub them, but it's just annoying. <laughs> I love it for the little cute touch I'm gonna kind of highlight little parts right here this little chubby thing um, in the bottom of your eyes my eyes our eyes whatever <laughs> Uh, with some glitter so I got from uh, a Korean brand these liquid glitters it's kind of similar to the liquid metal eyeshadows from Stila but cheaper so the brand is Holika Holika so beautiful so I got these three colors I don't think I have numbers or but I can find them out and it's just so cute I have to be very careful with this because, I mean, it's glitter, it's cute, but still, if you don't manage the amount of glitter really well, it can be too much. So I would just take a very um, sharp, thin brush, kind of dip it into the eyeshadow, the liquid eyeshadow. So. And, and then I would apply it because the brush is kind of stiff and big with this kind of brush um, I manage better the amount of glitter I put and it's more precise so I would just put it right on the bottom of my pupils here just a little bit very close to my waterline the closest possible a very thin line I don't know if you can see it, but it's very subtle and it's so freaking cute! <laughs> the secret is to put a very thin line, very the closest possible to the, to the waterline. You just the middle of the eye and then you just drag it. For the lips, I like to start with a kind of strong tint. Uh, I'm gonna use the Tony Moly Tony Tint Delight in. So I'll just put it all over my lips. Mm -hmm. 
I don't care about the outline because I'm gonna smudge everything out. So after that, I'm gonna actually wait a little bit till it it dries, and then I'm gonna use this matte, this matte lipstick, matte lipstick from Mac. Uh, number seventy one, and it's the Yash. It's a kind of pinky nude, very cute, but I just cannot pull it off. Pull it out. I just cannot wear it on its own, so I would use it as a kind of concealer around the mouth. Look. So I'm just gonna outline as if I was using a pencil. And then I'm gonna smudge with my hand. I go broke, but girl, I'm okay with it. Good at yam, and no one am I okay. Mind your care, huh? Money and the fame. No good on go one hand. I'm good on the one hand. And for the last part, I'm gonna use Petty Petal Airy Ink Velvet in number six. So it's just a kind of brown or orangey brown color. The texture of these are just so awesome. I didn't expect that much from this product, but it's just so awesome. So comfortable to wear. It doesn't dry out my lips. The color is awesome. The pigment is awesome. Everything. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I guess I guess I finished. I'm just gonna, um, I'm actually just gonna take this whole makeup off after finishing this video, so I don't need to spray my face. But you should with a f a makeup fixer. The makeup is done. Um, just gonna take this. So it's just fresh, still natural, cute makeup. So yeah, this is my look using uh, my favorite Korean products, well other products too, but mostly my um, favorite Korean products. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'm planning to do more. It's time to end the video. Please.